What's up everyone and welcome to another Rust Pro Series video. I'm Niceish and today we are talking about why the branch switch is lying to you. So you, know, you might be wondering, what am I talking about? Um, and I'm gonna try and get to that. This is a little confusing, um, but the idea here is that this is something that you need to know about uh, even if it is a small problem, uh, it's something to consider, especially when you start building more complex circuits and you're trying to keep track of all the voltages and, and whatnot. So so what, I, what am I talking about here? What I've set up here, I'm, I'm using the six turrets uh, example because this is sort of the very, a very common use of these. Um, these are the two ways that people often will set them up. They'll either have six branches, each one with uh, a branch out set to 10 each one of these running to a uh, running to a, a, a turret. Uh, and then of course, usually a switch before these, but I left it out just for, for ease of calculations. Uh, and then the other way is the is this other way, which is, you know, I, I have in the past said that this is more efficient where you have the two, you're only using three switches instead of six switches. So in theory, you're saving a few volts uh, if that's something you care about by omitting three of the of the branches in, 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 in lieu of having, you know, say, say these three instead. Um, either way, they both work. Uh, but there's something that happens when you do this that uh, I think that is something that is something that you need to be aware of. And so this relates to the active usage of a battery. So here, right here, I've got this large battery. I've got it set up off a power bank over here. I'll link my video on that if you want to know why I do that. Uh, and I've got these six branches. Each one of them has the branch out set to 10. Pretty simple. And so if you were to add this up and you'd say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, you know, in branch outs, you would also then, of course, add up the switches themselves. So six switches, six volts. So you'd have 66 total. But if you look at the battery here, you'll notice that the active usage is saying 60. And so why is that? You know, that's that that is what we're here to talk about today is the active usage, the relationship between the branch switch and active usage of the battery. So you might think, well, then this is free. This is great. We've got these six branch switches, but we're, we're not actually having to use any voltage to run them uh, because right there it says active usage is 60. So if you go by this charging efficiency rule, you know, you take the active usage and I've talked about this in other, uh, in other videos and you divide that by 0.8, that would give you 75, which means let's say this was all we were doing, you know, 60 divided by 0.8 is 75. I would need to send at least 75. So 80 is fine. Uh, to this battery to keep it keep it slightly charging and that's great but the misconception is that uh, if this says 60 it's only using 60 and that is what's not happening uh, whereas the branch switch is is not being registered by the battery as being present uh, and the battery is only registering whatever the branch outs are set to the actual final voltage is 34 and so if you think about the math here if it was 60 for real you know, here we have active usage 60. If it really was 60, then this would be 40 because 100 right here, right? 100 minus 60 would be 40, but it's not, it's 34. And that is exactly what it would be if it were, you know, 60 here plus six for the switches is 66. 100 minus 66 is in fact 34. So what's happening is that the branch switch is not being registered by the battery, which means you're not responsible for the extra load to charge it. If it really was 66, um, it would be 82.5, if you use this equation, 82.5, so 83 volts that you would need minimum to keep it charged. And so, you know, whereas you get sort of a break from charging, you don't actually get a voltage break uh, when you're when you're using using these switches. So like right here, this should be, if I were to hook all these up to these, these turrets here, it would just be 60. So I would charge on 60, but I would still only have 34 volts left. So that's kind of the crux of what I mean by the branch switch is lying to you is that it doesn't register with the battery, but it does register the actual volt that it's using. So right here, this would technically be 60. You would be using 66 volts of your 100, but charging on 60. And so you can think of that that way. If you had a switch here, it would be 67 to run these six uh, six um, turrets based on this setup. But you would charge off of off of, you know, 61 because the switch would register. And so you can also test this by saying, well, so which way is actually cheaper? Is it cheaper to do it this way or is it cheaper to do it this way? This actually is 66 volts you need, uh, but you charge on 60. So, so if I were to unhook this and then I were to just jumper this over to this branch over here, you know, set this up this way. And I were, so this one right here is set. We can test this hypothesis that it does need that volt actually by looking at this and saying, okay, well, 
Each one of these has three turrets hooked up to it. So that's 10, 20, 30, one for the switch. So, and 10, 20, 30, and one for the switch. So we need 31 here, we need 31 here. So here we have 31 set, which means I have to send, if this was free, I could send 62 volts here because it wouldn't use one. It would divide that in half because I have that 31. It would send the rest out, which would also be 31. So if I were to set this to 62 volts and run this, you're going to see that only the top three turrets are turning on because this does in fact require a volt. So now if I look here, I, I have 30 coming out because I'm short one. And so these ones didn't turn on. These are going to, you know, it, it'll cut it to nine because that's the best it can do. So if I were to come over here and set this to 63, which is what I actually need. Now I've got all six of my turrets coming on. 31 coming out of here, 31 coming out of here, 63 arriving, it uses one. And you'll notice interestingly that now it says 63 on active usage because I set this to 63. That's why it's registering this basically. The, and, and that is what it should do is that it's accounting for the fact in this setup, it is accounting for the fact of this one being on an, an active usage because this whole setup here is down you know down circuit of this branch out which i've set to 63. so now i'm running i'm running six turrets this time but i'm doing so you know of course there's no switch hooked up here but let's pretend there's a switch it'd be 64 volts so i've got i would have 64 coming out of before when i did it this way i had 66 but when i had 66 in the first way i only charged off 60 which is a minimum of 75 to charge whereas this way i have it set up to 63 64 if you had a switch and so that would be 80 so you're talking of a difference of five so technically it's still cheaper i think by what a volt maybe to do it this way so i think in the end if you consider the entire system it doesn't really matter what you do but it's important to understand that this that the branch switch does this because when you start building circuits you know like for instance my my automatic sprinkler circuit um, i have to account for the voltage needed to run these branch switches in that circuit you know mo you can't ignore it just because the battery doesn't see it so it's important to understand the relationship that you know, when you have things hooked up the old way, let me just run this, this back over to here. If I were to run this here, set this back to 10 so that every single one of these had 10 coming out like I first started, you know, it is saying active use is 60, but I am actually using 66 volts. So that's, you know, that's the kind of the point here, everyone, is that, you know, you just have to understand, you know, it, if you want to be safe from, say, future patches, uh, just assume to charge off of what you're actually using. Don't charge off of 60, charge off of 66. You know, do your calculations bake off of 66 active usage because you know that's what you're actually using. And then that way when the day comes and they, you know, ultimately do patch this, if they patch this, you'll already be wiring, you know, based on the fact that this, this was never a thing. But so if you notice this, this is what's going on. If this was confusing at all, you know, please, you know, don't hesitate to, to ask questions or jump on our discord. Um, but so yeah, that that pretty much does it, folks. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Otherwise, you can get me on my discord. See you later.